equivalent load analysis. In the early stage of this course, we have mentioned about the concept of equivalent loads. It is basically the resistance force caused by the pre-stressing force counteracting the external load acting on the member. With the non-external load acting on the member, based on the bending moment diagram developed, we can adjust our tandem profile in order to generate an identical resistance force to the moment caused by the external load in order to cancel out the effective moment acting on the member. This is known as the equivalent load. In these videos, we're going to introduce you about the equivalent load analysis. This is applicable for a continuous member which is highly indeterminate and having the span more than 2 units. You know that the indeterminate structures is complex to analyze. Although it is still possible to be done as per a simply supported member, however, the stress checking process for a continuous member will be more tedious. This is because that in order to check the stress within the continuous member, we will need to first identify all the critical sections within the member, which is definitely more than a simply supported member. Then we will need to check the sections one by one in order to ensure the stress is within the allowable limits. As the equivalent load itself is meant to create a load which is comparable to the external load in the process of cancelling it out. Therefore, as long as we can generate a stress profile within the member based on some special arrangements of the tendon, we can cancel out the stresses generated in the member caused by the external load. If the equivalent loads perfectly match the external load, we will know that the stress will always be within the allowable limits. This map needs to be suitable and advantageous for the highly indeterminate structures with more than two spans. It basically involves determining the total moment directly without considering the separate contributions of the primary and secondary moments. It is based on the considerations of the vertical forces that are applied to a member wherever there is a change in the alignments of the pre-stressing tendons. In the analysis of the equivalent load, the pre-stressing force is considered as the external load. Then we'll need to analyze the moment caused by the pre-stress in each span where we know that the primary moment will be equals to P times E and the secondary moment will be the primary moment minus the total moment caused by the equivalent loops which is the remaining of the primary moments and equivalent loops. This figure shows how we can generate equivalent loads based on different type of the tandem profile. You can consider this as one segment of a continuous member. When you apply the pre-stressing force at a certain degree of eccentricity, there will be compressive force caused by the pre-stressing tendon and there will be fixed end moment at the end of the span due to the multiplications of the pre-stressing force times its eccentricity. The second arrangement is the parabolic tendon profile where you have negative eccentricity at the ends and positive eccentricity at the mid-span. Because of the inclined forces, which if you derive it to the componential force, there will be vertical force and the horizontal force. This vertical force and horizontal force will add onto the member, 
which at the same time due to the continuous changing of the gradients of the tendon, it will generate a certain degree of UTL. And also because of the eccentricity at the support, there will be moment acting at the end of the section. Let's say if we arrange the tendons in the V-shape here, the tendons are in straight lines, negative moment at the support and positive moment at the mid-span. Because of the inclined force here, there will be horizontal force and the vertical force acting on the member. And at the tip of this V-shaped tendon, it will generate a resistance force going upward, which will be the summations of these two. So that it is statically equilibrium. And because of the eccentricity at the end of the support, there will be moment acting on the member. If the tendon profile is arranged in this manner, the equivalent loop will be as indicated here, which appear in the form of the vertical forces and UTL as well as the compression force. The figure here not only shows the directions of the forces, it also provides you the equations for you to calculate the equivalent load. For a continuous member, with the non-external load, you may look into the external loads acting on the member and counteract with different types of the equivalent loads so that they cancel out each other and the stress will be kept as minimum and the precessing members will pass. Once you have decided the equivalent load, you should provide the relevant tandem profile tune the E angle and also the pre-stressing force so that the force will be totally same as the external loop.